If we want to do major changes, we better do it with the help of science. And that could mean a decarbonization of our energy and reduction of material um, wastage, meaning circular economy, and all that will help us dealing with global warming in a way that we don't get poor. Well, what I can offer is two major strategies for getting the problem solved. One is the unbelievable running down of prices for solar energy. It became 300 times cheaper than it was 40 years ago. So it is absolutely affordable doing with climate neutral energy. And second, I'm saying for both materials and energy and water, it is absolutely possible to do five times more, one day 20 times more advantage, uh, luxury, uh, consumption per unit of energy, of ores or of water. And that is the efficiency revolution, as I call it. First of all, we have to recognize that the 2030 Agenda is essentially an imperative for growth, growth, growth. The first 11 Sustainable Development Goals are all about growth. And we have three ecological sustainable development goals and it is essential that the next step, let me say, of the Agenda 2040 or so <laughs> will be a more environment uh, and real sustainability oriented instead of just growth.